I welcome here is Interview TV from Stuttgart, and right now we bring a little bit of YouTube glamour here in our show. I'm really happy we met him last year. Here's Rami Tamimi in Interview TV's news. Hi, Rami. Hi, how are you? I'm so fine. How are you? Doing well. Great. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, let's talk about uh, what you're doing on YouTube. I mean, anybody in the geospatial sector knows who you are because you <laughs> really address many people. People learn from you. People get informed and inspired from your platform. And um, right now, you also created kind of a new um, thing. It's called the Survey School. So what inspired you to create it? Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, I love everything that has to do with the geospatial world. And to me, you know, being able to play with new technology, put it to its limits, you know, tr really try to test it and see the best use case for it, especially when it comes to accuracy, is what I do. You know, I am a surveyor at heart, and really the survey school is just teaching people everything that I know about surveying. You know, whether that's the technical side of it, the business side of it, the integration with technology. Um, we're here to help support anyone that is interested in learning more about this industry. Mm -hmm. How do you catch people's attention with your um, just interviews or your reports you're doing and um, how do you detect the trends or the topics you're reporting about? Yeah, I mean, for us, it's all about the feedback that we get from our audience, okay. you know. They tell us, hey, you know, I heard about this new product or I heard about oh, this new, okay. uh, you know, AI or this new software, you know. Tell us more. How, how does this work, especially when it comes to surveying? How does it impact our industry? And so, for me, I am always at the, you know, the forefront of research. I want to see what can we do with this technology? How can it improve our workflow? And then how can I present this on YouTube uh, and inspire people, you know? Show them that like this is what we should be doing and this is how you can do it to improve your work in your field. Mm -hmm. So uh, for me, it's, it's, it's always a challenge to find, you know, the, the next trend or the next up and coming uh, technology. But at the end of the day, you know, I love just playing with everything and then showcasing it on the channel. Mm -hmm. And uh, what you guys do not see, we have three cameras here for Intergeo TV, so this is our studio set. But Rami also brought a camera with him. <laughs> so hi, Rami community. This is Intergeo TV. I'm Denise. Nice to meet you. <laughs> also to say hello to your community. Um, yeah, and Rami, talking about trends and um, yeah, what caught your attention here at Intergeo? What did you find here? I, I'm really excited to see the collaboration between companies. Um, some of these companies have been around for five to ten years. 15 years and uh, seeing them now you know working together you know collaborating and bringing you know the hardware and the software together to make one solution uh, it makes it us and users it makes it a lot easier for us to you know work with these companies um, rather than each one trying to battle it out no they're like collaborating together so that's been the trend that I've seen this year and I love seeing that because that only helps the industry innovate even more yeah that's true they're really collaborating with yeah. each other just when you mentioned it, I was thinking, yeah, they do. Yeah. They do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so, um, yeah, we have some groundbreaking geospatial trends here. And um, we also have rapid advancement with um, technologies with integrating AI and so on and integrated in 3D reality capture and so So what you like most or what do you think is most interesting? I think the most interesting thing is digitizing the real world that we're in mm -hmm. in a way that can be used for engineering or for design. Um, you know, it's one thing to create a pretty picture. It's another thing to actually build a digital twin model. Um, and that's like the hot word that everyone's talking about, you know, this digital twin. But really, when you look at the core of it, you know, we are digitizing everything. Everything is turning into this 3D model. And we're able to include the fundamental work of surveying to actually make it an accurate model, one that can be useful, one that could, you know, provide safety for areas that are hazardous. You know, at the end of the day, you know, we are reconstructing our world and bringing it into the digital format. And that's, you know, that is an incredible thing to do. Uh, there's so many use cases that you can use that data for, and it's going to improve the way that we innovate, especially with urban planning, with infrastructure. Um, you know, many parts of the world are looking at developing and, you know, growing. Um, this is going to be the new way that they do that, by documenting everything in a mm -hmm. digital twin model. We also have a focus on Earth observation this year. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, what do you think? Um, how is it addressed here in this year's show? Did you also find solutions um, that really pay off that topic? Yeah, so, I mean, Earth's observations, we're trying to understand how our Earth impacts you know, our sensors, our data, uh, the work that we do, you know, in terms of collecting it and then representing it in a fashionable format. Um, 
One thing that I know with Earth observations is the gravity fields aspect of calculating positions on Earth. You know, we're finding new ways by utilizing Earth's gravitational force to actually calculate the different heights between our geoid and ellipsoid height. Um, and that to me is like a whole fascinating way of developing coordinate systems and measuring points in a way more accurate fashion. So Earth is, you know, ever changing, ever unexpected. But uh, if we, you know, utilize the changes on Earth to our advantage, we utilize those gravitational pulls to be able to do more precise, accurate calculations. Um, that's just going to make us better geographers, better surveyors, and better mappers uh, in the industry. Mm -hmm. So if there are young people interested in getting a job in the geo career or the geospatial <laughs> sector, so what do you give them um, yeah, an advice what they uh, yeah, should study or should be interested in or is there anything they could really do for um, getting a job in the industry? Yeah, I mean the industry is in high demand. There is no shortage of work, and, and, and truly, I think that if you're trying to break into the industry, whether you're trying to just learn about it, um, start with online. You know, see what's online. Watch content that I make. Watch content that other industry professionals make. Uh, see, you know, kind of the use case of the mm -hmm. technology. Figure out what fascinates you, whether it's the sensor side, whether it's the data accuracy side, whether it's the software side. Um, there's different parts to it that you may find fascinating. And as you innovate and as you kind of start to learn more about this technology, shadow somebody, talk to companies, get some experience under your belt. Even if you're a university student, I mean, there's nothing wrong with working with a company, showing them that you're interested. That's just going to guarantee you a job in the end once you graduate. Uh, and even if university is not your thing, by shadowing a company and learning what they're doing, you kind of build up your skill set and make yourself more valuable. And like I said, there is no shortage of work. Mm. You're definitely going to find you know, a, a path into this industry, and uh, you're going to do great. You know, I think this industry has a lot of room for growth, and young people are all aspired to, you know, be you know, innovators, this is the place to do it. This is definitely the industry that they should tap into. Great. So thank you very much. This was our Intergeo TV interview. Thank you, Rami, for of course. joining us. Appreciate, appreciate you guys having me. <laughs> we do. So see you next time. <laughs>